What's going on today, guys? It's Focus here, and my feet are fucking frozen, like frozen right now. What the hell did I just say? But anyways, oh, there's a zombie. Anyways, we are playing Daisy Epoch Panthera, and this is actually like a really cool fucking like mod for Daisy, and like almost, I think, I actually think all the buildings are enterable, so you can actually go on everyone. And this is actually, in fact, the same server that Frankie on PC played in, and I'm actually playing on it right now. And the only reason why I chose the server was because it was a really good server, and I just chose it out of random. And I actually remember that it was the one that he was on, though. So if you want to come play with me, or Frankie, you can go ahead and go check out the server. I'm pretty sure it's on his Facebook page. But it is Daisy, like, Epoch Panthera, by, like, MGT. They're, like, a, um... They're the host of the server. But anyways, so far we're... We just got a crowbar and we got a revolver. So, of course, the server is full of people, of course, since, like, Frankie posted on his Facebook. And it's got, like, it's almost full right now, and I've already run across, like, a shitload of, um, a shitload a, of vehicles. And I'm bleeding. Come on. So, right there, that's actually one of the vehicles that I saw earlier. It's a, uh, it's a Humvee, and, of course, if somebody runs you over in that, you're fucking dead. I've only got one bandage left, so we got to actually be really careful. Alright, so after crossing a river and climbing a mountain, I'm actually going to check on my map because I actually picked one of these up in this town over there and um, I'm not 100% sure on where I am. Just see how far away that depth point is for me. And uh, it's actually more over there to me. So let's actually bring it this way. Does it get closer? Yes. So I'm, I'm probably in you can you can right? Nope. I'm actually in the town before that, so I'm near, probably here. Am I right? Oh, there's a little bit of lag right there. Alright, so that's actually past me, so, um, yeah, there's a big-ass town right here. I'm not, I'm not actually going to go towards that town, though. I'm probably inside of Tallman. Actually, I am. I know that I'm in there. Alright, so we're in Tallman right now, and uh, I'm probably going to head towards somewhere that's not really that populated, because... I really don't want to get fucked up, so it's actually um, I'm gonna try to look for a base or something, and I'm gonna try to go over there and I'm gonna try and get something. And I hear a zombie approaching me, so I'm gonna actually go really fast. Yeah, of course. Wow, they crossed that river fast. So of course the zombies inside this are a bitch. I've already seen them inside of Frankie's video. And they are like so horrible. That's my last band, so I'm actually. I'm gonna stop messing with zombies. Please don't hit me, please. Awesome, oh, bitch. Alright, so we're gone. It's still bleeding, but I'm not bleeding. Alright, it's glitched. Alright, now I'm not bleeding. But, so we gotta actually pass this river to get over there. Alright, so now we've made it to Clovse. I've actually, I actually see a base over there. So I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be wise to just like go up and uh, attack them or anything because I've only got a revolver and a crowbar. So I'm probably just going to sneak around, of course. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to at least loot something in the town. Now, of course, you see over there there's a vehicle, and you're probably going to think, oh, he should go after that vehicle, get some wheels and shit. But it's probably a locked vehicle though, because a lot of people inside of this server or like any server lock their vehicles. And yeah, you see it's a vehicle locked, so um, I can't really get into it at all, even if I repair it. Ooh, a bike. I wonder if you can lock bikes. Nope. Alright, but it's fucked though, so. Like I said, we have to get away from zombies as fast as we can. Because we actually, we're, we're horrible on bandages right now, we don't have any, I'm pretty sure. And I don't see anybody inside that base. But that doesn't necessarily mean that there's nobody in it, but I'm just going to go ahead and go check. But if there is somebody in it and they shoot me once, I am completely fucked. Because I cannot bandage. I'm going to put my mic down on my headset also though, because I'm not 100% sure if the volume from my mic will come out through my headset or through my uh, blue snowball, which is what I'm talking to you guys in right now. So I'm actually in some deep duty right now because there's nowhere to go and I got a zombie chasing me. So I'm actually just going to go inside of one of these buildings, and I'm going to try to see if I can find, like, a bandage or anything. I'm 
actually gonna pull out my crowbar also just in case if I need to make an escape. If I don't find a bandage, then I'm fucked. I just gotta remember that. I gotta make an escape. Oh shit. Die, you little bitch. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm gonna kill him with this. Alright, if somebody comes and kills me, I'm gonna be really pissed because that was actually my, like, that was the only thing I could do in that situation right there. Can't y'all just get the fuck out? Oh shit. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna stop running into buildings. I'm gonna at least get rid of these zombies before I actually do it again. Playing this a little bit unsafe right now. So let's actually let's find another place to go to. It's actually strange because uh, this is like the only place that I've actually been to on this whole entire map that there's like no zombies on. Because this map's pretty small, so there should be a lot of zombies like everywhere. But I guess that it's just this little town right here. So, yeah. Ooh. Nothing in here. Alright, that, that that combination definitely did not work. Um, if y'all are actually wondering why I'm in, like, first person a shitload right now, it's because I, I love to be in first person on this game. I think it's just beautiful. And, uh, Third person, really, I just don't like it. I don't know why. But first person just seems a little bit, like, human-like to me. I, I think it's also because I mainly play third person, or first person games. <laughs> but I'll start to go in third person a little bit more. Just for you guys. Also, if y'all are looking at these graphics, they look pretty fucking sick. I have to admit that. I actually, I wonder what I'm playing on right now. I'm actually playing on, like, high very high. Everything is like high or above and the post process effects are on low of course. My visibility is like not even high at all. But Daisy has like a natural visibility of like 3000 I'm pretty sure. So, or a service can pick the visibility I'm pretty sure. That actually just gave me a lot of lags. Oh no. Didn't mean to shoot. What the hell? Why am I lagging so bad right now? Alright, I should not have messed with my visibility. Alright, what's that, guys? Let me figure this out. Alright, there we go. Oh, nope, nope. Alright, now it's all good. Alright, that was kind of weird. <laughs> so I actually had to, um, I had to change my shadow to normal and high so it would re render the world a little bit. And uh, that worked. So I don't know why it was doing that in the first place, but that was kind of weird. It's probably because I made it go up and down and up and down, and it probably fucked with the game because it was probably wondering what I was trying to do. And so, yeah. Ah, uh, look at that beautiful view. Never mind. <laughs> we ran across another base, and I'm actually shaking from pain, from not having painkillers, too, so. And I don't have any, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is bad, I think. Nope. So I actually need painkillers before I can actually go after anybody. Like, probably about 50% chance I'm going to miss my shot. If somebody's like... Like, it depends on the range. Of course, if they're far away, it's going to be like a 90% chance. Alright, so now that we are close to the base, I can actually figure out this is a big-ass base. This is really huge. And it looks like they have like garage doors everywhere. Hello, if you're inside this uh, building or this fort, can you please let me in? Because uh, I'm really poor and I don't really have anything other than a revolver and a crowbar. No? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I don't know why I did that, but okay. So there seems to be nobody there, of course. I didn't really think there was going to be. It's probably just like a base that all the players got off for like a brief one hour and then they're going to get back on, no life and shit. 
What I actually want to do, I want to go up to the safe and I want to try this combination lock. I know a lot of people use this lock. Or they, they use anything diagonal or anything that goes from left to right. And if you're one of those people, you know I'm talking about you. Alright, yeah, it's still locked. I knew that wasn't going to work. Because those passwords are like super easy to figure out. Hey, bud. Oh, shit. Alright, so... Wheel. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to point wheel. that at you. Uh, yes, I actually do have a wheel. Do you want it? Yeah. Alright, here you go. I really need one for my car. There you go. I was actually keeping that in handy. I don't even have a toolbox, so uh, you can have it. Alright, see you later, buddy. Thank you, dude. Thanks for being friendly. See ya. That's actually a pretty cool uh, run-in right there. He could have shot me point blank right there, but uh, he was actually doing the right thing. He uh, he didn't really shoot me or anything. He knew I was just a person running with a revolver. <laughs> um, but I actually like that. I like that I actually see some friendliness inside of uh, this mod pack. So, yeah. So now we're actually at this new town that we wanted to go to. Probably should have asked that guy if I could like uh, get a ride or something. Yeah, whatever. So I he's he's probably long gone now. He probably went to towards his car and shit. Yeah, I do not know exactly where that is. So I'm off by myself again. No no. But, you know, I really don't care. I mean <laughs> I can find another person and probably if they're friendly I can probably get like you know, somewhere to go from them. It's like a good place to go or some shit, but uh, from from my point of view, I really don't know where the fuck I'm going, or what the fuck I'm doing, or anything. All right, so that guy's near Tarvisio, and he needs drinks. I'm not really wanting to go give him a drink though, but uh, I just want to know if Tarvisio is like a big spot on this map so far, because uh, of course you you all know that I am not new, or I'm not good at this map. That was horrible. Maybe. Okay. Alright. Spotted a gas station over here, so I'm actually going to go towards it and see if there's actually anything over here. Which I highly doubt there is. I mean, I don't, I never usually spot a vehicle or anything near a gas station. But if I can find like an off-road vehicle, that would be very good to go to that FedEx uh, truck and claim stuff. Oh, and a toolbox over there. So I can actually repair a car now and I don't have a wheel anymore though so yeah but I just like helping people out though even if I had a toolbox I'd still help them out well speak of the devil a car I think that's probably why the people take the wheels off of them is they probably um, don't want anybody else taking the wheel yeah it's a it's a locked vehicle hey buddy You need help? I won't kill you. Hey, you need help? I'm not. I'm not going to shoot you, buddy. You want me to kill that zombie? All right. Bring him closer so I can shoot him. Over here. God, this zombie's moving. There you go, buddy. You want some food or something? Because I don't have anything else other than food to give you, buddy. Alright, I'll just drop it on the ground. Just stay over there where you are, alright? Here you go. 
Hey, stop! Hey! Can I get it in? Oh, can I get in? Oh, fuck. Alright. Thanks for the lift. Uh, I don't really know anywhere on this map, so uh, anywhere would be good to me. I'm actually going to go in first person because it's really loud inside third. See, this is why it's good to help out people in DayZ because it always comes back to you in DayZ. It's sort of like karma. I mean, it can come back to you in DayZ. Like this guy, I gave him a wheel for his vehicle and he uh, came back and picked me up in it. So that's actually pretty cool. They're actually lagging like all over the place. <laughs> They're not lagging, it's desyncing and uh, it's pretty crazy right now. Do you want to get off here? There's a lot of towns nearby. Uh, sure, yeah, I'll get out. Ooh, that's a close one. Thanks for the ride. like fucking flips. Alright. Oh, I'm lagging. Alright, there we go. Oh no. Oh no, this is the same place I was at at the start. Are you serious? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Don't leave without me. Is he gone? Hey, guy with the car. Guy with the car, are you around here? Hey, guy with the car. Guy with the car, stop! Where is he? Oh shit! <laughs> no, don't tell me! Don't tell me he's gone! How do I get out of here? Dude, I am so done. This is the same fucking place I was at at the start. Come on, please don't tell me he's gone. Dude, he's gone. He is so gone. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Hey, dude. Dude, are you right here? Hello? Dude? What happened? Where did he go? Is his car break? I think his car broke. Yeah, it broke. Oh shit. So he actually hit a tree. Wow, dude, this is, has a really big twist right now. A really big twist. I don't know how I just said that. Dude that had the car, where did you go? Hello? Dude, where did he go? Yeah, I can actually uh, take these engine parts and get that car. So I actually, I think he died. I'm like not even kidding, guys. I think he died. If he died, that sucks, dude. That really sucks if he died because he helped me out a lot. All right, let's try to look for him. Is that him? No, there's no dead body right there. I was just thinking about that. Where is he? Right, I gotta kill these zombies. How? 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 If I die, I'm done. Oh. Guys, I think I'm gonna die. I'm like, not even kidding. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna die right here. Come on, come on, character. Come on! It's so glitchy. I'm hitting him with all I have. Yeah, that's just, that's so buggy. What's going on guys, it's Focus here, and I, uh, I'd like to thank y'all for watching this video if you watched this video all the way through. 
Uh, it took a lot of editing for this video. It was literally like a 45 minute video and I like cut it in half practically because it's like 20 minutes long. But I really do not know whatever the hell happened to that guy inside that truck. I mean, he disappeared on me and his truck was broken. So I, I think that he probably crashed his truck and he probably went to go look for help. Or he probably went to go look for me and I actually died <laughs> trying to get his truck. But the worst part about me dying though is it was sort of glitched though because that zombie took about like what 10 20 hits with that crowbar whenever the other zombie took like probably about two or three and i really think that that's a problem with this game right now and they need to fix a lot of the glitches with it but other than that this mod's really cool if you want to go check it out go ahead and download the epoch panthera mod um it's not really a mod it's sort of like weird how you have to do it i mean it took me about like probably about two days just to figure out how to get inside of this mod but anyways, other than that, I'd like you to like, subscribe, maybe even comment on this video, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.